Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 Blind. This is part 11. Now, I've done a little bit of stuff off screen. I put ice on Tifa for some reason. I just. <laughs> I guess I just felt like I wanted to give her a materia. It doesn't look like. I don't really think I'm gonna be using Tifa much for magic type attacks because her magic power doesn't seem too high. But I figured we might as well give her one just cause. I also equipped her with the Metal Knuckle, which we bought for her back in Wall Market, and I gave her the Titan Bangle, which I think we also bought there. If not there, it was in the other slum area. Another thing I looked at was, I looked all through the menu to find out what that cross slash thing was in, that we got after beating the boss in the last episode, and it's actually here under Limit. So I don't yet understand what these level 1, 2, 3, 4s are for. I'm assuming the game will explain that eventually, but I did look, I did figure out how to check what our limits do, or our attacks, limit breaks, whatever they're called. So Braver attacks one opponent, Cross Slash looks like it attacks and paralyzes one opponent. So what I'm assuming is that next time Cloud is, has the ability to use a limit break, Braver and Cross Slash will show up as options for him to use. So we'll be able to check out what that looks like next time we get our limit gauge filled up. And that's cool. So it looks like there are multiple limits for each character, and maybe they can level up? Because it says level? I don't know. But interesting, definitely. We're gonna bolt. We'll bolt this guy. Because now I'm remembering how this game works, and that if you attack enemies in the back... Oh, okay, he's got it. Alright, well, yeah, sure, cross slash, let's do it. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, power on up there, Cloud. Oh, snap. Oh, that, that was pretty cool. I didn't seem like it paralyzed him, but maybe that's just because he was too weak. And what you guys are all using Pokemon attacks right now. I'm not having this, but it is cool that that missed. Uh, so we'll bolt this guy again. We'll have Tifa attack this guy in the front. Oh yeah. These turtle spearmen. And we got healing wind. I don't think we'll have time to use that. <laughs> Why did that do one damage? Is there something I'm missing? Healing wind! That's pretty cool. It's definitely a neat little thing. And also kind of gets around the necessity for us having cure all or something. So I think it's best now to have all with lightning for Cloud, and then Eris can just uh, cure people separately, and then when she gets healing wind, she can get a big one out. So if you remember in the last episode, we were trying to get back to Sector 7, because apparently they're trying to blow that up. And I'm trying to get that yellow. But of course, like always, battles interrupt. We got crabs. That's just how it goes. If you're walking around in the sewer all the time, all in that dirty environment, you're going to get crabs. It's just the way life works. Ew, these are like gross little crabs, though. They're like scorpion crabs. They're... That's kind of a cool effect. It didn't do very much damage, though. I meant to attack the other guy with Cloud, too. Eris, you can attack. It's not like... <laughs> I'm, I get always in this conundrum where magic will be better, but since I'm lazy <laughs> and I don't want to watch the animation, I just like to have them... I just like to mash through battles sometimes. I think that's okay. So far, this game does not seem to be the most difficult game. It seems like we're getting through it pretty... Uh, fast. And that last boss didn't seem like it was too much of a threat at all, really. Oh yeah, we'll take that potion. Yes, indeed. But I'm more interested to see what that is. Ooh! Ooh, steel materia! <laughs> that is going on Tifa right now. Right now. Ooh, can we steal all? Is that a thing we can do? I may have to... I may have to try that. <laughs> if you don't know, I don't know if I explained this... But steal is my favorite command in Final Fantasy. It's my favorite thing that any... I, I don't know why, I just love uh, stealing things in these games. And we are definitely going to be making use of that. We probably won't need to have steal all on here, but I just want to see if it's possible. And that's definitely cool, because it definitely... Uh, I'm going to assume let's... Well, no, let's not. <laughs> no, let's jump down. I'm assuming that... What was I gonna say? What was I saying? It's cool that we can that we have that now, so we have something else to put on Tifa. Uh, 
yeah, okay. Alright, oh, another thing, I got a comment about this, but apparently when you press select, you can actually see points that you can go. So before I was having trouble discerning whether I could, like, whether an area was an entry to another area or not, and it looks like by pressing select, it kind of lets you know, and I think that's a really cool built-in feature to this game. So I'm sure they realized it was a little confusing with these backgrounds to sort of see where you can and can't go. Eris, I got you mixed up in all of this. Don't tell me to go home. Yeah, where is this? Let's see if we can just get past the trains that are lit up. We should be able to get out of here. Is this like the train station back in, uh... <laughs> of course. Like, back where we got off the train and got on in Sector 7? Because that means we're maybe going to make it. What is this, Kakuna? Ew! What are these? <laughs> I'm not... I'm assuming a lot of you can understand what I think these monsters look like. Did that do damage? What, why did he disappear? And we're stealing. We couldn't steal anything. Oh, they're just gone forever? It's a good thing I use magic... <laughs> Seriously, these monsters- oh, are they- they're still here. They're just disappeared, I guess. Alright, Tifa, let's do it. Yeah! And that's literally yeah, because that's what it said. Alright, we'll finally get to see what this is. Beat Rush. Go, girl! Oh, snap. And that's pretty good. I guess it's like- oh, it's still not as good as Braver or anything, but- what? Are there more of you just appearing? We're gonna steal again. Because I want stuff. I want to get stuff. And that didn't work? I really don't understand how to fight these enemies. Maybe it's just like they disappear and reappear. And it missed. Alright. Okay, well enough with the very suggestive looking enemies. Uh, we're, we gotta save the world here. We gotta go back to our town. We don't have time for this. But I do want to get... Now that I say that, I do want to see if I can get this item up here. No. Can we climb this? Yes. But yeah, this little cursor really is helpful. But it does make the backgrounds look a little bit worse. Or it just is kind of like jarring. So I think I'm going to turn it off unless I really need it. And so now that that's on, I can see that we can't actually go this way because there's no little red. So definitely a very helpful hint. Um, I, I think it was Laharl that told me about that. So I appreciate it, buddy. Ooh, and a high potion. I didn't mean to get that. Uh, but where do we go from here? Can we get onto this train, or...? Huh. Can we go out through this section? Doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe this is only to get that potion. <laughs> you know what? If this is not... This is not a new enemy, I think I might cut this battle out. Oh, and it is. It's got some flappy flyers. They're probably weak to Bolt, I would assume. Oh, we stole an Aether! See? I, I love these games for that mechanic. <laughs> and I'm assuming we can only steal once, maybe? So we're, we'll try the other guy. I know bosses in some of the games you can get like multiple stuff from them. That's really cool. No, I couldn't steal. Well, we're doing it again. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to take so many more unnecessary hits because I just try to steal everything. But it's just awesome. I love it. I really like like thief-like characters in, in most games. I just think they're really interesting and cool to play as. Like, I've been playing uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, which is an awesome game if you have not checked that out. And... Uh, I really... Especially just in the Fire Emblem series in general, I just love like the thieves. They're just so cool. Alright, two ethers. See, that's great. Now we don't have to pay for that, which is awesome. And... Alright, I guess... No, we'll just use Bolt on you. Whoa, Ice, that was a lot of damage. We're gonna need to heal. So, I guess I spoke too soon about the game not being tough enough, because the enemies seem to be getting a little bit tougher. But nothing our trusty heroes can't sort out. I guess we're getting some good experience doing this. I guess it's not a complete waste of time. I just wish we could not have to deal with this. Maybe... Can we just jump down on the other side of this or something? Or, oh, okay, we can walk across the train. I see. Alright. See, that was those flying guys again, so I just decided to cut that one out. 
Just because I want to save a little time, I really want to get some of like the actual story events in here. Uh, so that's really the reason that I decided to do that. So we're actually going to use the Aether on Eris because she's got a little bit of... She only had a little bit of MP left. And because we have our lovely steel technique, uh, free Aether, which is great. Aether don't seem to be too hard to come across in this game, which I'm thankful for. Echo screen, I think that was... Prevent silence, which could be useful. We haven't run across an enemy that can silence yet. But I assume when we do, we can use that. And it looks like we're going to have to go through the train here. Or over and around. See, this is so helpful. I could be lost on this area forever if I didn't know about this little cursor thing. And But I really like all this like train weaving. I really like... What's interesting is that this game has seemed really linear so far. And I know that there is a world map in this. That it eventually does open up. But... It's cool that ha that it's kind of involving almost in how you have to get through the areas because you have to go up and around and down. It's a little bit... Ooh, all right, preemptive attack. I guess we can show this because I'm still talking about stuff. And I should have noticed this before, but it does not look like we can steal all because it doesn't really show that, which is a bummer. So I need to set that uh, all back on one of our magic users. I think I'll put it on Eris, actually. Because she can do more damage with Thunder anyway. Or er, Bolt. I keep calling it, like, Lightning Thunder. I'll steal from this guy. <laughs> Literally stealing is all I ever want in the world. And I like how there, like some, it does like a little uh, dynamic angle kind of thing. I will use Fire, why not? Tifa, we're getting that break again. No, we're not. <laughs> but I'm lucky, or I'm glad that I figured out how to actually use it. And it's, it does a decent amount to these weak enemies. So I think maybe a, even an attack from Eris will finish this guy off? No. This will, though. Yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, I really like how, even though we're traveling on a linear path right now, it's still kind of involving, because like, there's sort of a little bit of a puzzly aspect in figuring out how to actually even get through the environments. It's nice. I like it mo Whoa! Wait, wait, no! I wanted to get the items over there! Oh man. Oh well. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe we couldn't get over there before. Yeah, let's get those items. Let's see, there's one. There's a blue! A blue up here. I wish I knew what the items actually meant. I'm guessing the little circles are materia. Because that one, that little circle in the sewer was yellow, and we picked up, and we got, like, the steel materia is yellow, too. So, that's what I'm thinking. Whoa. Um. What is going on? How do I get through here? Is this whole episode going to be me dinking around in the train yard? I hope not. All right, and here we got a new enemy. It's like <laughs> a gladiator sword face horseman. I don't know. Let's see what we can take from him. Nothing. I like how the horse is kind of like getting ready to go. Ooh, he's like a cyborg. Oh, he's got silence. Okay, silence cloud. So I'm not sure if that wears off after the battle's over. I'm assuming if it does, it's not really that big of a deal. Cloud's physical attack is pretty high, and he doesn't really need to use magic all that much. But, alright, so there are enemies that can silence in this area. That's good to know. And we'll see if it's... I don't think it, it's an effect that sticks around. No, it's not. Uh, we are actually going to want to put... Oh, Eris doesn't have a multi... She doesn't have like a combination kind of thing. So I guess we'll take the all off Tifa then. She doesn't need that. We'll put it back on Cloud. Okay. Bomber. I wish Eris could get one of those combinable things. And is this... Alright, maybe now we have to get in that second train. That makes sense, right? And we can push that other car out of the way? Alright, in that battle, actually something a little bit unique happened. We stole an item called Ghost Hand 
from the little ghosty guys. And okay, so that drains MP. So that's actually kind of useful if we're running low on ethers or something. Maybe I'll have my guys use that in the next battle because they are a little bit low on MP. Uh, also, I realized that for the ghosty guys, they when they disappear, you can't hit them. So I figured out how that works now. I probably should have showed that battle, but I kind of didn't like start it out talking. And literally, what is going on here? Can we walk through now? Can we just go around this? Let's see. Were we always able to? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe we can... Can we go... Huh. What am I doing here? <laughs> this is such an unproductive episode. Oh, okay, we can jump across. If we can just get through this train yard, I literally will be okay with ending the episode. <laughs> yeah, because... Okay, so I've seen this area. This is right by the entrance to Sector 7. Right? Yeah, okay. So, I guess we can save here. I'm really sorry that... Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Okay. Oh! Uh, what's going on, guys? We made it to the pillar standing! Wait, you hear something above us? Gunfire? Ooh, it does look like it. It's a nice shot of the pillar, too, but it looks like they're, like, fighting up on the bridge. Bad news. Come on, guys, we gotta jump into action. Let's cut him down. Oh, that, that's gotta be Barrett up there. <laughs> He's holding it off. The one-man firing squad. And... <laughs> Whoa, that guy. Wait, was that? No, was that Biggs or Wedge? No! <laughs> Wedge! You alright? Okay, good, he's okay. Cloud, you remembered my name. Barrett's up top. Help him. And Cloud, so. No, wait, no, don't die! Going up. Eris, look after Wedge. Okay, so he's alright. Tifa, do me a favor. I have a bar called 7th Heaven in this neighborhood. Oh, and that was Tifa saying that. It's a little girl named Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll put her somewhere safe. It's dangerous here! Everyone get away from the pillar, quickly! Everyone get out of Sector 7! Alright, and it looks... Okay, so there's a save point. We're gonna end the episode here, and next time we're heading up this uh, ladder. We're gonna help Barrett defend the pillar. Save Sector 7. Good, good times. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that. Sounds like it's going to be exciting. So until then, guys, I've been SnackAttack8, and I will see you in the next video. Later!